uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so today uh, we will solve this interview question okay so let's start so we have uh, two switches one is up and another is down okay two switches and they are closed and open uh, like like this manner okay these are the uh, like when the switch is high so then the switch is closed and having like they are ideal switches so having when the switch is on the resistance on resistance is zero okay and when the uh, like switch is low that means the on uh, like off resistance is infinity right these are the ideal switches and there are uh, two uh, two same uh, uh, ideal current source okay so this is like i of ut and i of ut okay and there is a vd and we have two resistance and a capacitor and the initial condition of the capacitor is zero like initially the cap is uncharged okay uncharged now let's say this is time zero let's say this is time t1 and this is time t2 and let's say this is time t4 okay so we can see that at time t equals 0 the up switch is closed okay we can see that this is a high right this is high and this is low right so high means the switch is closed and having zero on resistance then what will be the like picture and and like up to 0 to t1 the down switch this switch is off okay off means that this is like open right so what will be the picture so this will be like this right So this is our I current flowing through this circuit, right? And this branch is open. Okay. So we can see that a constant current is flowing through this capacitor, right? And this is our V out. But when the switch is on, like at that moment, the capacitor is short circuited, right? We know that. So if the capacitor is short circuited, then the picture will be look like this, like right. So this is our V out. Let's say this is R this is r okay let's say this is r on this is r2 okay this is r on this is r2 this is r on this is r2 and there is a constant current source right so the output voltage will certainly jump to a voltage right the voltage is nothing but i into r2 right because this is this b not will be i into r2 right so at a like at t equals 0 the v out is jump to i into r2 value okay so let's say this is our let's say this is our zero this is our let's say v out plot okay so at t equals zero it jumps to some values okay let's say this is uh, okay so we can see that this directly jump to a voltage this is nothing but i into r2 then then we can see that the there is a constant like uh, constant current charging the capacitor so how to will be the output output across a capacitor like the voltage across the capacitor will be a ramp right we know that So basically, basically, let's say this is our V out plot. Okay. So basically, like at t equals zero, t equals zero, the V out jump to a voltage. Let's say, let's say this is our zero volt. Okay. Voltage of i i into r two. Right. Now, the capacitor like uh, the through the capacitor a constant current is flowing. Right. So the out the voltage across the capacitor will be a ramp. Right. We know that because there is a like vc we know that a constant current is i by c into t so when like if the time increases the voltage across the capacitor will increase linearly right so let's say this increasing like this okay this will be the linear charging okay 
up to that let's say this is 0 this is t1 this is t2 okay and this is let's say t3 so it will charge like linearly right now we can see that at this time duration like t less than t2 and greater than t1 both of the switch are on right so what will be our reduced picture so we can see that this is a current of i and this is also a current of i same current right same current so this is i and this is i this is r1 this is r2 and this is our output right and this is our cap now we can see that if we apply a kcl at this node then what will be the current flowing through this resistive and capacitive path this will be zero right zero ampere because this is the same current and this is the same current so this will cancel each other so this branch having zero current then what then what it will be looking like so zero current means open circuit right so this will be like this and this is our v out this is our r1 this is our r2 and this is our c so the capacitor cannot charge anymore and cannot discharge as well because there is no closed path okay now at 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 t equals t1 certainly the uh, current through this through this branch is zero then the i into r2 drop will be zero right but vc value the voltage across the capacitor will hold its previous voltage right so what happens is and we can see that this this potential this maximum potential will be nothing but i r2 plus vc right like this voltage this is our vc and we can directly find the vc value uh, using this formula okay so we need to need the time like at the like here the t will be equal to t1 right so that we can find the vc voltage and we can then we can find the overall voltage but we have we have seen that certainly the i current is zero the i so the ir drop will be zero so it will it will drop some values right at t equals t1 now we can see that and 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 the v out v output will be nothing but vc only right because we can directly see that v not equal to nothing but v like i into r2 plus vc right we can directly uh, find from here so this is going to zero so we have v out equal to vc itself okay and and so this 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 voltage is nothing but now is vc right okay vc at t equals t1 now again after t2 like after t2 both of the switches are zero right low right so both of the switch are open so how will be the picture the picture will be nothing but so this is open and this also open so this is nothing but same 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 thing previous like what we have seen in this case so there is no charging and no discharging so the capacitor will hold its previous voltage so this voltage this was the previous voltage it will so previously we have that right so it will hold this value right this voltage so this will be like this okay so this is our final waveform so what happens here is at t equals 0 there is a like the capacitor will act as a short circuit so the all of the voltage all of the voltage like all of the current flowing through this branch and the voltage drop across r2 is nothing but i into r2 so we get the v out as v out as at t equals 0 i into r2 and the and at that condition the voltage across the capacitor was zero right so there is a certain jump sudden jump at the output voltage then what happens is there is a constant current right so constant current is flowing through a capacitor so this will charge linearly but after a time where t getter t2 and less t1 like getter uh, t1 and less than t2 then both of the switch are on so there is no current flowing through this branch because this is same current and this is same current so the the capacitor cannot charge and cannot be discharged okay so what happens is instantly the i becomes zero through this branch so i i into r2 drop becomes zero so the output fall from like previous condition from below from this from the previous condition and this range this range is nothing but i into 
like this this like this step is nothing but i into r2 and this step is also i into r2 okay so this voltage from 0 to here is i into r2 and here we can find that this voltage this like this voltage is nothing but i into r2 and then then like we can find that the both of the switch are closed like open so there is no path to charge and discharge the capacitor so it will hold its previous voltage that is that is nothing but this right so this is our final waveform so if you like our video you can subscribe our channel and please give your valuable feedbacks thank you